Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy the story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Forgotten Amulet In the heart of the dense Amazon rainforest, the echoing calls of exotic birds mixed with the whispers of the wind through the towering trees. Dr. Eliza Chambers, a renowned archaeologist, had always been drawn to the allure of the jungle's secrets. The pursuit of the unknown had led her to countless discoveries, but it was the forgotten amulet that would be her most harrowing adventure yet. Eliza had been on the trail of an uncharted ancient civilization, the Tamakuri rumored to have possessed unimaginable knowledge and power. Local legends spoke of a hidden tomb deep within the rainforest, which was said to house a cursed amulet known as the Eye of Eternity. The stories were filled with warnings of its malevolent powers, but Eliza's thirst for knowledge outweighed her fear. With a small team of trusted colleagues, she embarked on a treacherous journey, hacking her way through the dense undergrowth, crossing treacherous rivers, and braving the dangers of the jungle. After weeks of relentless pursuit, they discovered the hidden entrance to the Tamakuri tomb, concealed beneath thick vines and moss-covered stones. As they entered the tomb, the air grew heavy with the weight of centuries. Eliza's heart raced, and her hands trembled as they uncovered the first artifact a beautiful, ornate amulet adorned with an eye-shaped sapphire that seemed to pulse with an eerie, otherworldly light. Ignoring the ominous whispers that had begun to fill the tomb, Eliza decided to inspect the amulet further. In her fascination, she slipped the amulet around her neck, and a strange sensation overcame her, as if she were being watched by invisible eyes. The moment the amulet touched her skin, the tomb trembled, and the walls seemed to close in on them. Terrified, her team fled the tomb, but Eliza, compelled by an unseen force, remained. She tried to remove the amulet, but it clung to her like a second skin, refusing to budge. A sinister figure began to materialize in the shadows. It was a spectral form, the vengeful spirit of a Tamakuri high priest, his eyes ablaze with rage. The spirit, known as Zalok, had been imprisoned within the amulet for centuries, and now, with Eliza as his host, he was free. Zalok's voice reverberated in her mind, a haunting whisper. You have awakened the eye of eternity, and now you shall bear the burden of my curse. Eliza's life took a terrifying turn as she became a vessel for Zalok's torment. She could feel his malevolence seeping into her thoughts and dreams, his anger and bitterness becoming her own. Her once brilliant mind was clouded by the darkness of the amulet, and her very soul was on the brink of being consumed. As days turned into weeks, Eliza's colleagues returned to the jungle, determined to free her from the amulet's curse. Armed with ancient incantations and relics, they ventured back into the tomb. But the power of the Eye of Eternity was formidable, and Zalok could not give up his newfound freedom easily. Final showdown took place in the heart of the tomb. The amulet hanging around Eliza's neck emanated an eerie glow. Her colleagues recited incantations, their voices trembling with the weight of centuries-old magic. Salak, realizing the threat to his existence, fought back with a ferocious malevolence. In the midst of the supernatural battle, Eliza's willpower emerged, her love for her colleagues and her unwavering determination to reclaim her own soul pushed back against Salak's darkness. The amulet, torn between two opposing forces, shattered with a deafening explosion of energy. The shockwave sent Eliza and Zalok curtling backward, their souls entwined in the battle for control. The vengeful spirit was banished once more into the ethereal realm, leaving Eliza battered but free. As the tomb crumbled around them, her colleagues rushed to her side, helping her to safety. The cursed amulet lay in ruins, its malevolent power finally broken. Eliza's obsession with knowledge had nearly cost her everything, but it was also her strength and determination that saved her from a fate worse than death. The forgotten amulet had been a perilous and horrifying journey into the heart of darkness, a stark reminder that some secrets were never meant to be unearthed, and that the spirits of the past should remain undisturbed. With the cursed amulet's malevolent power finally broken, the tomb crumbled further, burying its secrets in the malevolent spirit of Zalak beneath tons of earth and stone. The jungle reclaimed its dominion, covering the hidden entrance once more with vines and moss, as if nature itself sought to seal away the ancient horrors that had been awakened. Eliza, though freed from the amulet's curse, bore the emotional scars of her ordeal. She couldn't shake the feeling that Zalok's vengeful spirit still lingered somewhere, watching, waiting for another opportunity to be unleashed upon the world. 
It was a burden she would carry for the rest of her days, a constant reminder of the perilous boundary between curiosity and recklessness. After returning to civilization, Liza dedicated herself to researching the Tamaguri civilization and their forbidden knowledge. She felt an obligation to understand the culture and history that had led to such a malevolent curse. Perhaps, she believed, by uncovering the truth and shedding light on the dark mysteries of the past, she could prevent others from making the same grave mistakes. Over the years, she published groundbreaking research on the Tamakuri and their rituals, emphasizing the importance of respecting the sanctity of ancient sites and artifacts. Her work served as a cautionary tale for future generations of archaeologists, warning them about the dangers of disturbing the slumbering spirits of the past. But no matter how hard Eliza worked to undo the damage her obsession had caused, she couldn't escape the lingering presence of Salak in her nightmares. The spirit's whispers continued to haunt her, a constant reminder of the close call she had experienced within the tomb. As time passed, Liza withdrew from the world, consumed by her inner turmoil and her ceaseless quest to understand the dark forces she had unwittingly unleashed. She spent her days in isolation, poring over ancient texts and artifacts, searching for clues that might help her exercise the last remnants of Salok's influence from her mind. Yet, it seemed that the vengeful spirit's grip on Eliza's soul was stronger than ever. With each passing day, she could feel herself slipping further into madness. The boundary between her own thoughts and Salok's malevolent whispers blurred, and the line separating reality from nightmare grew thin. The forgotten amulet had become a curse in itself, not just for Eliza, but for anyone who crossed her path. The stories of her descent into madness and the chilling presence that surrounded her spread through the archaeological community, and she was eventually deemed an outcast, a prey in the very field she had once dominated. Eliza's tragic tale serves as a chilling reminder that some horrors, once unleashed, cannot be completely contained. The price of curiosity can be steep, and the boundaries between the known and the unknown, between sanity and madness, are often more fragile than we dare to imagine. The forgotten amulet remained a testament to the enduring power of ancient curses and the inexorable pull of the supernatural, lurking just beyond the realm of human understanding. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed the story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.